we're on the fifth floor in the elevator lobby. Uh, I'm going to show you what these three switches do in the elevator lobby. Now it's about nine o'clock in the morning. The way the lights are scheduled in the building are 7 a.m. The lights turn on and the switches throughout the public areas that would include the ones in the lobby corridors are locked out. So they actually don't turn the lights off, even though the little indicator, you know, is still active, but the lights do not track what the switches do. But I'm going to show you what the switches do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remote to set this for the nighttime mode, which normally happens at 8 p.m. And what that does at 8 p.m., the lights turn off and the switches become on-off switches. So we're going to use the remote to do that. Turn it on. And then there's a bunch of menu items here. I'm going to go down to the one that says utilities. Uh, then I'm going to go down to room mode. Uh, room mode refers to, the, doesn't necessarily mean a room, but they're just referring to the whole uh, floor in our case, or it could be in a whole area. Anyway, room mode, and then I press the center button. And then it says normal hours and after hours. I'm gonna use the right and left arrow. In this case, use the right arrow to highlight after hours. And then I'm going to point the IR eye at any IR device. So that could have been any sensor, any switch. And just press the center button. So as you can see, it now turned it into night mode. And if you could see, it got darker. So the lights went out, um, which means if I was to come up here after 8 p.m., I can actually turn the lights on. So this one is the, the down lights. This one are the two by two lights. And this one are the linear cove lights around the elevator. So these, these are three-way switches or four-way switches um, at the A entry and the B entry. So we'll go over to the, we'll leave the lights on, we'll go over to the A and the B and I'll show you those three switches. Okay, now we're at the B entry, we're still in the elevator lobby and these are the three switches which will do the same lights. So just so you know what they do, this one is the linear lights above the elevators. This one is the uh, recess lighting, the down lights. And this one is the two by twos. So again, they're on off buttons. We're in after hours mode, which is, which happens automatically in this building at 8 PM. We'll go over to the A side. I'll show you the same switches. Okay. Now we're at the, still in the elevator lobby at the A side entrance. So should be the same. This is the two by two switches, uh, lights. These are the down lights. And these are the linear lights. Okay. So we're now gonna go in the A side and I'll show you uh, some of the switches throughout the A side. Uh, we just walked into the A side. So we're in this short little corridor which leads into the uh, med prep area. And there is a switch right here, and it turns on the lights in the little short corridor that we're standing. Uh, again, this is also, gets locked out during the day, so no uh, patients or visitors can turn these lights off in the middle of the day. So that's the whole idea behind it. The switch is duplicated in a couple locations. There should be a switch over here. There's another one right there and there's one on the other end and they're all a, a three-way they all electronically do the same thing so we're going to go into the med prep area now we're on the fifth floor in the a side in the med med prep uh, preparation uh, nurses area switches over here on this wall are for this area. So the first switch is a dimmer, and if I hold it, it will 
make the lights brighter in this room that we're standing in. The switch on the other side is also a dimmer, and that is for the light over the desk outside this room. The next switch is a has three buttons on the same frame, and the top two little ones uh, act as a raise and lower button. And what they do is what's called the uh, living room area outside by the by the window. And then the one below that is an on-off button, and that's one uh, the lights in the screen porch. So this is just on-off. This one is raised and lower. So let's go out into the living room, and I'll show you what lights I'm talking about on this raised and lower. We're, we're now in the living room area. Uh, I just want to show you the lights of that raise and lower button I was talking about. The lights are currently off, uh, and that's because these lights not only respond to that switch, but there is a daylight sensor right here. And what that daylight sensor does is that takes into account the amount of light coming through the windows and dims these lights accordingly. So right now, the day we happen to be doing this, it's too bright for these lights to turn on. So that's why the lights are off, even though I've raised them to full daylight sensor overrides that and says there's enough light in this room and that's why these lights are not on. Okay. A little troubleshooting hint if uh, this becomes a problem, this isn't the official way to do it, but you can put a piece of tape over that sensor and then it will think it's darker than it really is and the lights will come on if you know there's a point that this area is just too dark. Uh, same thing, if you close the blinds, then this will also feel that it's too dark in here and will also raise the, the light level. Okay, we're in, back in the A fifth floor med prep room. Then we have these combo switches here on the wall. This one here is the two corridors in this direction. And this column here is the two corridors in this direction. And are both that do the same thing. So the top one is the general lights down the hallway, which is the two by two fixtures. This one are the two recessed lights at the very end of the hallway uh, for the recessed uh, lighting by the, over the windows. This one is the sign lighting, which uh, is uh, are also like wall wash lights that light up the placards next to the rooms. And this one is the night light, which is in the bedrooms. Uh, it's a little amber light at the, uh, about, you know, about a foot off the ground. And that's, this whole column is everything down this hall. This is the same thing, but everything down this hall. So once again, this is the general lighting in the corridor. This is the down lighting at the end of the corridor at the window. This is the sign lighting. And these are the night lights in the bedrooms. And then this set of switches, they're not all used. This one is the uh, two by two lights around the desk. This one is the recessed lights uh, around the desk and at the beginning of the hall, the corridors. And these are the down lights on the uh, green ceiling right, or, right over the desk. And then this switch is flashing and this is flashing, and these are all flashing because these are all spare switches. So when they flash, that means there's no light program into them, so nothing will happen, and the light will just flash and eventually time out. So you're only using this set of lights and three of those. Okay. We're in one of the patient rooms on the fifth floor. 
uh, going back to where I was in the med prep and I showed you that last button is for the night lights and this is the light that it turns on and off right here. So before we left the room I turned the light on so you can see which one it is. Okay, so it's an amber light. The lights within the room are controlled from within the room and they are uh, right here. This is a single button and this is a uh, split button which has an up arrow and a down arrow for dimming. So this one is the light over the uh, well, over the window, maybe that's where the, the head will be on the bed for the, where the pillow is. And that's just an on off button. This one is a dimmer, so if I hold the up arrow, it raises the recessed light in the center of the room. And if I hold the down arrow, it, it dims that recessed light in the center of the room. So, having both lights on, these are sensors so that after 15 minutes, is which they're currently set for, the lights will turn out in 15 minutes of no activity in the room. That is changeable uh, by taking this faceplate off and then prying this little cover off, in this case prying this cover off. It's, even though it's split, it is attached, so carefully take this cover off. On the back of the covers and on the switch body itself is uh, instructions and then there's a little set of switches inside there and that uh, by setting the different switches on off the different patterns of switches it enables you to set the uh, timeout so you can set the timeout from 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 and 20. You could change the sensitivity. There's also a little dial and a little tiny screwdriver, a little jeweler screwdriver, you could change the sensitivity of these sensors and uh, make some changes like that. Okay, but right now um, they're set for 15 minutes. We're, we're down one of the hallways uh, on the fifth floor and to show you what those buttons did in the med prep, uh, the first button that I said was the general lighting for two by twos, that would be these lights right here. If you turn them off, I mean, I have them all on now. One of them, one or two of them stay on, and those are emergency lights. They'll always be on. The next switch down, which I always call on the uh, down lighting, recess lights, those are these two right here. And they're right, right at the window at the end of the hall. That's the only two fixtures on that switch. The third switch down, which was called the sign lighting, are these smaller recessed lights right here which light up the room placards. And then the last switch which I showed you previously is the night light inside the bedrooms. Okay, so the uh, bathroom switches, just want to show you, they're the same switches that I showed you in the bedrooms except and I told you you could change the dip switches, but these are set to be automatic. So if I go in the bathroom, it turns the light on automatically. Uh, you can, of course, turn it on and off, but as you saw, it turns on automatically. I'll go into the next bathroom just to make sure that works as well. Okay, so that's how the uh, bathrooms work. And that's, that's code for any type of public area, whether it be in a uh, public lobby, corridor, or bathroom that lights need to turn on automatically. There's three zones of lights in here. Uh, and there's, there's another doorway at the other side and it has the same three switches. These two are dimmers and you can always tell the dimmers by this little scale and this is a switch. First dimmer turns on the two by four lights which are right over the uh, in front of the window. The next switch turns on the lights in the rest of the room, and those are the two by fours. The bottom switch, which is actually a switch, not a dimmer, turns on the lights over this counter. So I'm going to turn those off. 
We're going to go back and look at the switches of the two dimmers I just turned on. Now, all I did was tap the top of the dimmers. And if you go back and look at the lights, you can see, and hopefully the video can pick it up, is the ones in front of the windows are a lot dimmer than the ones within the in, inside the room. And that's because there's a daylight sensor in this room. And that daylight sensor is that little tiny uh, dot about the size of a half dollar right there. And what it's doing is it's looking out the window and taking in the daylight and it's giving these lights which are over the window to compensate for the sunlight that's coming through the room. So uh, if you see lights that are not all equal like that, that's and they're near a window, that's most likely the reason why, it's because they're on a daylight sensor. You can't override that. As I said, when I came in, I just tapped the two buttons uh, one, one quick time. But if you double tap it, you can see the scale went up. And if I look back at the lights, I can see that they're now full bright. So they'll stay that way until the uh, vacancy sensor in this room turns the lights off. And that, these lights will turn off after 20 minutes of no motion in this room. That's controlled by this sensor right here. Now the parameters of that sensor can be changed. And that's the remote that I had used earlier. So I'm going to show you how to change the parameters on that sensor. We take our remote, turn it on, and the first item that comes up on this remote is sensor configuration. So that's what we want. So these sensors communicate with this through infrared. So if I point to that sensor, push the large button in the middle, uh, I get a menu selection that says current settings, that's the first one. So I want to look at that and press it and it actually reminds me, now I need to actually point it to the sensor and press that. And it pulls down a list of information. The first item is time delay. Time delay is the time that the motion sensor will turn the lights off after it does not detect any more motion. And you could change that from one minute to 30 minutes. The code, uh, standard code time is 20 minutes. That's why it's set that way. The next line down is PIR sensitivity. Oh, it's abbreviated PIR sense. Uh, that's the infrared sensitivity. It's currently set at 90%. That's how sensitive it is to infrared, uh, which would be uh, you know, our body heat moving around the room. Uh, 90 is factory default setting and that seems to work well in here during my testing. The next line down is US sense, which is the ultrasonic sensitivity. That's the air waves, uh, air movement, sound waves. And that's currently set at 70 percent. Uh, it seems to be okay in here. Other rooms, you may see that if, uh, if there's a draft in the room, it may pick it up if the doors are left open, possibly from the hallway. Um, it may trick the sensor into continually staying on. So you may see a room that is vacant and has been vacant, but the lights haven't gone off. And that could be because there's a draft or the doors left open. If that's a constant problem or if there's just a draft within the room from a window or a ceiling uh, tile not in place, you could change that sensitivity and you know, bring it down to maybe 50% or 30% or you can even go to zero which turns off the ultrasonic detection. The other, sen the other one down you may uh, consider is, um, is re-trigger. And what that says is PIR or ultrasonic. And what that just means is once you've turned the lights on in the room, it only needs to see one or the other. It doesn't need to see both. Uh, doesn't need to see 
uh, both ultrasonic sense um, triggering and it doesn't need to see uh, infrared, just one or the other. So anybody passing through or sound will just keep the timer starting back to 20 minutes and counting down and it'll go back to 20 and count down again. So that's how it knows when there's absolutely no infrared motion, no ultrasonic detection, then the lights will turn off after 20 minutes. If you want to make any of those changes, I didn't, but let's just say we want to make it, we want to change it, the ultrasonic sensitivity, we want to lower it to 50%. So I've just lowered it to 50% by using the down arrow, and then move the cursor down to where it says send, and then I just hit this, and then it tells me to point it to the device. And it says configuration sent. So now, if I want to just clear the screen, I hit this uh, little house button, which is the home button, and I'm back to the main menu again. So if I go back again and look at that sensor and hit current settings, it comes back. Uh, we still have our 20 minutes, our 90%, and our ultrasonic is now 50%. So I'm going to change it one more time back to 70. So I went down with the arrow to the cursor, over 60, over 70, down, 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 to send, hit send, and it says configuration sent. Let's just check again. So I'm back to the main menu, I hit the home button, configuration, current settings, point, and now we're back to uh, 20 minutes, which we always were, 90 and 70%. So I just showed you how to change it, and then, of course, we just set it back to normal. So I hit the home button, we're back to the main menu.